Hey everybody, it's Lori. It's Top 10 Thursday. Day. Yeah. Um, I picked the topic this week. Skyla's already done hers. I don't know if James is going to do his or not. Um, but look for both of them if, if you can. The topic was Top 10 Movies Before the 1980s. And this was pretty simple for me. It, it was really easy. I own all of them. I couldn't reach one of them because it's way over there on the very top and I can't reach that. So, I have all of them right here. And I can even put them in a list. I don't know. I'm sure it'll change, but I even put them in order. So, here we go. With my top ten movies. Sorry. i got to move around on my desk. Boy. Okay. Top ten movies before 1980s. The 1980s. My number 10 is. You can't see that. Well, there you go. Philadelphia Story. Cary Grant, Catherine Hepburn, James Stewart. Um, a funny movie, has a good ending. Um, next, at number 9, is Grease. Most people have seen it, so <clears throat> sorry about that. I don't have to explain it. This one, oh, sorry, Philadelphia Story came out in 1940, and Greece came out in 1978. The next one came out in 1959. Some like it hot. Marilyn Monroe, Tony Curtis, Jack Lemmon. Um, if you haven't seen it, it's really funny. The ending scene is absolutely priceless. Absolutely priceless. And I already said when that came out. Um, next came out in 1962. It's Hattori. Oh, what is it? There we go. Hattori. It's a John Wayne movie, but it's not a Western. Um, next. Came out in 1968, and that's Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. <coughs> this is something Dylan and I can watch together, and we both love it. Next. I know I have no horror yet. Are y'all surprised? Should be. Um, my next one, which is one, two, three, four, fifth. Halloween. The original Halloween. Came out in 1978. This is, I think, a digibook type. Ah, wrong way. Yeah, you can't see all that. Okay, number four. I, I, I don't know why I love this movie. I, I just really do. It came in 1979, so just barely before the 80s. And that's The Warriors. Um, it's about a gang. Summit. And the... Someone gets killed, and this is their story of getting back home because they're the ones accused of killing the person. Okay, that leaves three. And again, you can't really see it. There you go, sort of. Arsenic and Old Lace, which is another Cary Grant movie. I could probably do a top ten Cary Grant movie list. I just, he's my favorite actor of all time. I could watch anything he's in, and I have, and I've seen some that I didn't really like, but I still watch it because he's in it, and it's still a brilliant movie because it's Cary Grant. Okay, my number two, which is over there, right up in there, um, is Bed Knobs and Broom 6. It's the very first movie I remember. That's probably the second favorite, second movie I remember seeing at the theater. Um, my grandma took me and my sister. And it's still, Dylan will watch it with me. I love it. I got it on Blu-ray as soon as it came out. Um, the ones in the little envelopes are not Blu-ray. But all the ones in the Blu-ray cases are obviously Blu-ray. Um, I put them in envelopes because I don't have room to put all of my movies. I have like almost 2,000 in that bookshelf over there. Yeah, that looks up over there. Doesn't hold all of them and I have a few Funkos at the top. Um my number one 
I bet everybody can guess what it is. Oh, wait. Bedknobs and Broomsticks. Our Snick and Old Lace came out in 1944. Bedknobs and Broomsticks came out in 1971. And this came out in 1975. Can you guess what it is? Da -da, da -da, da -da. Jaws. My favorite movie of absolute all time. I love this. This is the Digi book. It is so awesome. I got it for Christmas, I think, this last year from someone. Jaws, 1975. That is my top 10 list of movies that I liked before the 1980s. Let me know what you think. If you would like to do your own top 10 list, go for it. Um, like, comment, subscribe. Thanks. Bye.